Greetings and welcome to this Raspberry Pi tutorial series. Today we are going to start with tutorial 6 and today I am going to show you uh, the characteristics of GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi module. Now you have wondered what this pins that is the pins on the Raspberry Pi module work. So these are GPIO pins. GPIO stands for General Purpose Input Output Pins. The black pins indicated here are crown, the yellowish, dark yellowish are 3.3 volts power supply and 5 volts are indicated by red. So what did it do? So in this you can use this pins for input as well as output. Now input is given in the form of high or low, uh, sorry. Yeah, input is given in the form of high or low signals which is 0 volts or 3.3 volts and anything above this uh, voltage level might damage your Raspberry Pi pin. So take care that you use them very carefully and now we are going to see first the output pin. Now what output pin is now here we connect the LED to the pin. How are we going to connect the LED? So one of one terminal of the LED that is the positive terminal is given to one of the GPIO pin and the negative terminal is connected to the ground. Okay, so this is how connections are to be done and now what we are going to do is I will show you a demonstration program in which we will see how do we um, make this thing work. So this is one of the program. So import rpi gpio as gpio that is you make the object gpio of rpi library in python and then you set the mode bcm so bcm what does bcm stands for let's see no idea what this is but uh, what I can see is there is some, some kind of mode for this pin now you set up this pin as output pin now this is pin number 4 pin number 4 as per this is GPIO pin that is a pin 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so GPIO 0 4 is pin number 4 as per the program python code and you, se you set it as output so here while setting the output you make use of GPIO object ok now you say that it's an output uh, pin and which pin number it is and what is the value of the pin this is what is said by this now time.sleep10 indicates that your uh, pin will stay on for 10 seconds and then it will get off after the 10 seconds and GPIO cleanup is to remove all the uh, data related to that pin in the memory ok now we are going to the second program second program is for uh, taking now we have done with the output part of the program now we will see what input part means so input part means we are making the pin as input pin here in the setup function and then after that we will take the input gpi.input from pin number 7 ok and after that we will check if it's 1 1 here indicates that it's 3.3 volts and here we are going to just give, it, give a print command saying do press the button when the button is pressed it will trigger some uh, trigger some action so that action you have to define here in the uh, while loop this while loop continuously runs saying that it's continuously listening for the button action that is to be pressed and that's pretty much it for this tutorial now we are going to see how to run this program in the next tutorial thank you guys for watching and until next time